ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme Video. This is for Friday morning, the 11th of January, and things are beginning to calm down this morning after a pretty... Active day of severe weather yesterday. Let's go right to some sky cam shots this morning around the network. Noticeably colder this morning. After the recent mild weather, feels pretty chilly out there. There's a look at uh, Birmingham. Temperatures are down in the uh, upper 30s and low 40s in many areas. Uh, a little cooler than the models had uh, expected. There's a look at downtown Jasper. Always a nice scene there coming from the top of the King Building up in Walker County. And down in Dallas County, that is the Edmund Pettus Bridge across the Alabama River. is seen from our sky cam there in downtown Selma. Big trough rotating through here this morning. The storm's pushing off to the east. Colder air moving in in its wake. At the surface, a surface low is north of Indianapolis with snow around the Great Lakes. And the trailing front down there in southeast Alabama... Temperatures are indeed noticeably colder. You can see that progression of cold air still in the 60s down there in Dothan, but readings in the upper 30s up in the northwestern part of the state. And uh, as we speak uh, early this morning, there's still a tornado watch down there for the southeastern tip of the state until 7 o'clock. And even a tornado warning down there for uh, Houston County. So it's been a very uh, active night, uh, overnight, for the Weather Service office uh, down in Tallahassee that covers that part of Alabama. Uh, now, for the rest of the day, the uh, severe weather risk moves on to the east, a uh, slight risk for uh, eastern sections of uh, North Carolina and Virginia up to uh, Chesapeake Bay. There's a QPF map, the expected rain. Now, this counts the rain we had last night. Uh, so from here on out, really, we don't expect much at all for the next five days. It all depends on that weekend system on Sunday, and uh, the latest modeling is coming in uh, pretty dry with that. Let's look. This is the 06 GFS, 06 C GFS, valid at noon today. Uh, shortwave trough rotating onto the east, so in its wake, we'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, partly sunny and cool today, highs in the mid 50s. Tomorrow, here comes the next Vortmax rotating through Texas. And again, we'll start off the weekend dry. We got a southwest flow here in advance of that trough, so kind of a mix of sun and clouds. We should be close to 60 tomorrow. And then Sunday, the model has that Vortmax now well to the east of here. It's really fast with this. And down at the surface, we got a surface low that is all the way up there east of the tidewater. And uh, accordingly, if this is correct, we'll have some clouds Saturday night. But Sunday will go partly sunny as this thing is shunted well to the east. So, again, the trend in the modeling is to keep the system far enough east and south of here, not really to impact us all that much. And we'll probably be able to take out maybe that little chance of light rain on Sunday if this keeps up in the OZ run. Now, there's the NAM, by the way, on Sunday, and it agrees nicely with the GFS. Uh, so, again, uh, more and more it looks like we can pretty much take out that uh, – a uh, chance of light rain on Sunday and the chance for the snowflakes, of course, fading away. Sunday should be noticeably colder, though. Notice the 540 thickness line all the way down to Birmingham. So uh, after we'll be close to 60 on Saturday, highs on Sunday will be perhaps in the upper 40s to near 50. And uh, Monday of next week looks like a dry and chilly day. Again, uh, highs probably in the upper 40s with a good northerly flow. That's a 1,032 millibar high feeding the cold air in from the Dakotas and Minnesota. Uh, Tuesday of next week, the surface high pretty close, so uh, Tuesday morning should be a radiational morning with temperatures uh, below freezing down in the 20s. Wednesday of next week, we kind of start to watch what's happening uh, off to the west. First off, a Vortmax shows up around Houston. A little surface low spins up with that thing on the Louisiana coast. And then Thursday, that feature is on by, but that might suggest some chance of rain Wednesday night or Thursday morning with that, if that's right. And then uh, Friday of next week, a week from today, a long wave trough off to the west down at the surface. Another disturbance develops in the northwestern Gulf. Friday night, a week from tonight. Yeah, we see that. Uh, some chance of uh, rain. That would hint maybe a few snowflakes over north Alabama. And again, that's a week from tonight. And then uh, the next day, Saturday, the 19th, cold here, 
540 line drives down into South Alabama with a storm uh, moving up the or just off the Atlantic coast. So uh, we'll see uh, how that goes next week. That's kind of hinting at maybe a little system Wednesday night, a stronger system out there at the end of the week. Go out there three more days. How about the uh, 22nd of January? Big trough swinging through, and yeah, we see that too. Same deal, some type of uh, coastal development there, maybe rain or snow if that's right. For the snow lovers, there's just opportunities on the board. I'm not saying it's going to snow out here. They're just opportunities. And then on the 26th, the end of the cycle, a southwest flow aloft, and that would suggest relatively mild weather with very cold air uh, trapped up there over the uh, north. So uh, weather looks pretty changeable, but I think no more uh, spring-like warmth uh, anytime soon, for sure, like we've seen in recent days. And probably no severe weather, and that's a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, as we always do. For those of you that are watching this via iTunes or YouTube, that's alabamawx.com. Next video here by 3.30 this afternoon, and of course we'll be on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.